And uh, we have a special guest that you're going to talk to next that's going to give us some uh, talk about some history that went on 50 years ago. Yeah, and that is Stuart here, who is the son of the screenplay writer of Junior Bonner, the famous country, famous uh, Western movie uh, that starred Steve McQueen. And, and this is what's really cool about this. You actually get to see it from beginning to end because you grew up right here in the area. That's right. You know, that summer of 71 was a big summer for our family. Uh, my father's script had been optioned uh, earlier that year uh, by Joe Wazan and uh, they cast Steve McQueen as the lead actor and then Sam Peckinpah signed on as a director. And it all came together very quickly. You know, the story was written in 1970 and then um, they came over to find the locations and with Bill Pierce's help, ABC uh, Pictures decided this is where they were going to make the movie. Yeah. And the city embraced the film company. They moved in in June just before the rodeo and the parade and for 10 weeks the city and the film company worked together to make this classic picture. Yeah, and it's celebrating 50 years, which is amazing, and it's still a classic that you have to go back and watch, uh, especially with the rodeo going on, everything happening up here. What's really neat is that your dad's history is continuing on because there's a lot of different places you can go and learn about Junior Bonner. That's right. You know, this summer there are exhibits at Charlotte Hall called To the Rodeo Partner at the Western Heritage Center here on Whiskey Row. There's a big exhibit on the making of the film as well as the history of the rodeo. Um, and then at the Fitman Art Museum, they also have an exhibit on the history of uh, Junior Bonner and uh, there's a lot of posters that kind of show how the film went around the world. It was it's really cool to look back and say here's this small pictures made here in Prescott with the world's highest paid movie star Steve McQueen yeah. and the great director Sam Peckinpah um, and the film was shown all over the world behind the Iron Curtain from Japan to Serbia yeah. and, and uh, so it's really had a long-term effect and 50 years later it's a really a fan favorite. Right and it is it's I mean it's one of my classes to go watch and just see it's incredible especially if you want to get into that western feel before you come to Prescott or, or even uh, just wanting to get in the western feel while you're home. I like it. I, I know I got to wrap up. I want one quick answer to this. Sure. But how does it feel to be part of that history, like having that still go on with your father's movie? It's remarkable. You know, to honor my father, Jeb Rosebrook, and his screenplay that was inspired by his adopted hometown he is really a great honor, and we're very grateful, and we love the town of Prescott. I like it. And you're staying in the business because tell everybody what you do now. Well, I'm the editor of True West Magazine, and we celebrate western heritage across the United States uh, every single day. So and we love to bring people up to Prescott, Arizona. I like it. Well, Stuart, thanks for coming Thank by and joining us. I like Great it.